Hey, I'm Dr. Wilson, a PhD molecular biologist. In the past few weeks, I've seen a ton, more than usual, of misinformation surrounding COVID-19 vaccination. This misinformation is unacceptable. So I want to take this video to make a compassionate case for why you should get vaccinated against COVID-19. And in the second half of this video, I'll address some of this misinformation that is costing us lives every single day. Think of someone that you love who is no longer with us. We all have someone like that. What would it mean to you to be able to have another month with that person? Another three months, another year, another five years, 10 years. That time would be invaluable, would it not? Well, because of COVID, millions of Americans have had that time with a loved one taken from them. All of that could have been prevented. When it comes to infectious disease, my actions affect you and your actions affect me. Even if you're not afraid of catching COVID and getting sick with it, you can still pass it on to somebody who might suffer and die from it. And you are then complicit in that act if you knowingly have avoided taking precautions that are shown to help prevent that very thing from happening. We can all do something to help make sure that our friends, our neighbors, members of our community don't lose that precious time with loved ones. We have had, and we still have, very effective tools to prevent this from happening. We just have to be a little bit willing to use those tools. When it comes to vaccination or masking, social distancing, whatever tool we're using to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, it is all about compassion. It is not about the fear that my life might be taken. It is about making sure that a community as a whole preserves their public health and their freedoms to go about life without being devastated by infectious disease. So next time you think about getting a vaccine or putting on a mask, ask yourself, if this is all somebody else had to do in order to prevent one of your loved ones from being taken from you too soon, would you want them to do it? Vaccination is how this pandemic ends. Yes, vaccines are still enormously effective, even against the Delta variant. Yes, breakthrough infections for vaccinated people are expected, but the data could not be clearer. These breakthrough cases are less prevalent and less severe than what we would see in an unvaccinated population. And no, Joe Rogan, vaccines will not produce more infectious variants faster than without vaccines. The simple reason for this is that COVID vaccines don't allow the host to continue spreading COVID-19 for longer than if they were unvaccinated. In fact, the opposite is true. For a more complete answer, I'll put some links in the description for you to read. Do COVID vaccines have adverse events and have they led to the deaths of some people? Yes. Is this acceptable? No. That is why scientists and doctors all over the world are working hard every single day to try and make these already safe vaccines even safer. If you think that the correct response to the fact that COVID vaccines have led to the deaths of very, very few people is to not get vaccinated, then you are accepting the fact that COVID will continue to kill millions of people and cause suffering all over the world. That is not a compassionate choice. That is not a rational choice. That is simply an anti-vaccine stance. And no, COVID vaccines have not led to the deaths of tens of thousands of people. It's very few. If anyone tells you otherwise, then they're referring to VAERS data, or data from the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. This is a passive monitoring system that anybody can submit a response to. In fact, some claims look like this, where somebody claimed that an unspecified vaccine against an unspecified disease gave them homosexuality. I mean, come on. These reports on their own are unverified. Doctors and scientists have to follow up on and investigate them. The only reason that this database exists is so that they can have stuff to follow up on. And so far, the confirmed death count and confirmed serious adverse reactions, even after 
billions of vaccine doses have been given all over the world remains incredibly rare. Misinformation surrounding COVID vaccines is costing lives. End of story. It has to stop, and anybody who is spreading it needs to either correct themselves or accept the consequences. And the consequences in this case are the fact that if you're someone who is spreading misinformation around COVID-19 vaccines, then you have to accept the fact that you are contributing to a rising COVID case count and COVID death count. This channel is just me. I'm just one scientist who does his best to read and understand the data. And when I don't understand the data, I listen to the experts. All of the links to all of the science I talk about in this video are linked in the description below. So please, use the sentiment, the analogies, the information given in this video to convince your friends and family who are hesitant about COVID vaccines to get a COVID vaccine. Because getting COVID vaccinated is the compassionate thing to do for your family, for your neighbors, and for your community. See you next time.